welcome back. Uh, Tuesday morning, my last class for, I guess, our academic year, if you will. Um, again, we still have class tomorrow, still have class Thursday with Dwayne, um, but this is my last one. Um, all right, so we'll get going. To start with here, we are going to do some circles around our space. So again, just pretend you have, or I guess you could, put a dumbbell on the floor. We're just going to do some circles right around it. So get some ankle mobility moving here. Okay, nice slow clockwise circles. Um, okay, what was I going to talk about while we were doing that? Oh, classes for next year, similar to this. Yes, um, some capacity for sure. Um, we don't know exactly what that looks like yet. I think that my hope would be that we will, Dwayne and I will still be doing online classes similar to this. We will just be on campus setting up our camera, doing classes. I don't know if they will necessarily be live. Um, I think we will still have some that are live classes. I don't know what exactly, again, that will look like. But in some capacity, there will be live, there will be recorded. All of that stuff still will go up on our YouTube page. <clears throat> I can't explain a bunch of specifics because I don't know what's going on yet. Um, but we want to try to offer as much of this as possible. We understand that, I guess, A, our staff and B, our students <clears throat> will still be working from home in some capacity. Right now, everyone will be back on campus. so. We want to try to offer as much stuff as we can. All right, let's go the other way. Get undizzy. So counterclockwise. Perfect. So hopefully that answers some of your questions. It is very vague, <laughs> which I'm sure you guys are used to. The messaging is always that way. But I am here to tell you that there is hope, that there is promise. We're going to do as much as we can to come back, uh, come September. Excellent. Let's speed up a little bit. Good. Perfect. Come on in. Let's stand in the middle of our space. Do our nice dynamic here. Okay, stand up nice and tall. Grab that right knee. Pull it into that chest. Woo! Don't fall over. Switch. Okay, big pull on that knee. Right up to that chest. Stretch out those hips. We need them today. They need to be firing on all cylinders. So we'll get them all stretched out. Ready to move. Good. All right, from here we're gonna do our scoops. Okay, so put one foot out in front of you. Flex that foot, dig that heel into the ground. Bend at your hip. Scoop that air. Warm up and stretch those hamstrings. Good, right, let's go six on both sides. Right on. One more each way. Good. All right. From there, we're going to grab our foot. Okay, pull it into that butt. Okay, knees together. Nice and tall with that chest. Pushing that right hip forward. If you don't feel too much of a stretch in that quad, again, Push that knee backwards, okay? Not up to the side, backwards. Down, shake, let's go to the left. Good. Okay, one more time, each side. On the right. That balance. Good. Left side last time. Good. All right. So stand it up nice and tall in your space. 
We're gonna push, I guess, lift that right leg out to the side, bring it forward, nice, slow, control. How lift that leg up as high as we can. Four times on each leg. All right, now stand up. Let's reverse that movement. Start with it in front of us. Oh, no. Start your watches. Up and out. Again, four times each leg. Excellent. All right, last one. Back of our space. Big step with the left foot. Okay, left hand down on the ground. Right hand's coming up. We're gonna do some torso turning today. So this is a big stretch. All right, this is gonna help us out. Down, step forward, walk yourself back. Okay, one big step with the right foot now. Right hand down inside that right foot. Left hand comes up and turns. A little stiff here today. Down, grab some water, and then we're gonna get going. All right, so first exercise today. Oh. All right, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here with my mat. <clears throat> we are gonna go kind of medium, light medium weight here. We're gonna go with uh, a little bit of a lunge matrix here today. All right, so we're gonna hold these weights up by our head. You can have them down at your side if you'd like. They're gonna get in the way a little bit if you do that. You wanna find the middle of your space because we're gonna be stepping all over the place. Okay, so my right leg is the only one moving right now. I'm gonna step forward, lunge, back. Side lunge, back. I have enough space, reverse lunge, back. Okay, so that's all with our right leg. Once we do those three, then we switch, okay? Forward, left foot. Out to the side, left foot. Back behind us, left foot, all right? That is one rep. We are doing that four times, all right? So that means whew, six, four, 24 different steps we are taking for this first round. Okay, so grab some weight, figure out how you would like to hold your weights. Again, they don't need to be a whole ton, just a little bit to weigh you down. All right, so I'm gonna go right foot first. Join me if you'd like. Forward, side, and reverse. Switching our feet forward, side, Reverse, okay, that is one round. Let's go three more. Forward with the right, out to the right. Reverse, perfect, switch. Left, left side, and left back. Good, halfway, right side again. Good, left. One more round, each leg. Good. Last one. All right. Good job. <laughs> Gets to be a lot on those legs. Okay, so if you grab too much weight that time, we're gonna come down next one. All right, so next, we want to grab two smaller, not super small, small weights. I'm going to start with some eights. These are called dumbbell windmills, all right? <clears throat> so, 
We want our feet about shoulder width apart, arms are hanging down on our side. I'm gonna run, so on my left side, this dumbbell is gonna run down my left and try to come in toward my foot, okay? While I do that, I'm gonna lift that right arm and look up to the ceiling, okay? Come on back down and reverse, okay? Here, back up, okay? A little bit of shoulder work, uh, hamstring as well, okay? Similar to our deadlift, just a slight bend in that knee. As we come down, we push our butt backwards and come on back up, all right? So we're going eight times, actually, sorry, let's go 12 times, so six on each side, and then we'll move on to that next exercise. All right, let's go ahead. Remember, pushing that butt backwards, that arm that's going up, it just comes straight up like a lateral raise up above our head. Make sure that head is following that hand above the head and you're looking up at your ceiling. Keep breathing, 12 times total, six on each side. That's it, almost there, good, right on. So that is dumbbell windmills, all right? Last one, dumbbell pull down crunch, all right? You're gonna grab, it doesn't need to be much, it can be heavy if you'd like, if you've got nice big strong abs. What we're gonna do, pull that with both hands out in front of our chest, okay? Our feet are going together. Okay, laying down. What we're gonna do is this weight comes up over our head. We're gonna lift it off the ground. We're gonna lift our feet and they're gonna meet somewhere in the middle. Okay, come back down, go again. Okay, back and forth. Those of you who have been on campus with me, we've done hands or ball hands to feet where we're alternating um, a big exercise ball between our hands and feet. This is similar just with some weight, all right? So we are going 10 crunches here, all right? So let's grab a weight. If you find that what you have is not enough, you can pause and get a heavier weight, all right? Let's go ahead, 10. Breathe. is one round all right come on up grab some water all right back into our lunging pattern all right grab your weight grab more weight if you need all right middle of our space we're going right front, right side, right rear. Perfect, switching feet. All right on, one round. Keep breathing. Good, halfway. Awesome. Come on, we're getting there. One more round. Last one. Woo. Right on. Back to our dumbbell windmills, all right? So maybe you grab too light of a weight, 
because I cautioned you too much. Let's go a little bit heavier here if you can. If what you had last time was good, let's stick with it. We're going 12 times, six either way. Let's give her. Remember, sticking that butt backwards. Not a lot of bend in those knees. That's a nice, slow movement, right? <clears throat> Strengthen those muscles in that scapula. Feel it in those hamstrings. Good. There is 12. All right. Let's come back down onto that ground. Again, same is true here. If you need some heavier weight, if you need something lighter, go ahead. All right, feet together, arms up over your head, and go. 10 total. Keep that back flat on the ground. Don't let it arch. Good. Right on. Two rounds. Complete. Ready to go. Grab some water. We got one left. Nice and loose, very tired. <clears throat> but we need them for part B. It's gonna be a little more difficult, but you guys are all up for the challenge, I know it. All right, let's go ahead, last time for our lunging pattern. All right, right foot forward, side, and reverse. Good, switch. Breathing, halfway, here we go, last round. Lunging, not even in part B, we are over with. All right, let's grab those weights, dumbbell windmills. All right, feet shoulder width. Okay, let's go 12 times. T-spine, right mid-back. Keep breathing. Great job. Right on. One more left to end off part A. All right, down on the ground.
grab that weight, feet together, back flat on the ground, and we're going 10 reps. Let's go ahead. That is it, part A, complete. Right on, grab some water. I'll explain what we're doing for part B. Doing awesome for time. All right, so we've done this a few times, but we're gonna kick it up just a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> regular Tabata burpees, all right? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, but instead of that regular four minutes that we would normally do it for, we're gonna kick it up to five. So we're gonna have two extra circuits within this burpee Tabata circuit. All right, so if you haven't been here before, burpee, we're not going all the way down for push-ups. I mean, you can, I'm not requiring you guys to. Can I down onto the ground, feet out into plank, back in and hop. You could jump, you can do whatever you want at the top, Get those feet off the ground, all right? That was one rep. We're trying to do as many of those in 20 seconds as we can. We get a 10 second break and then we're back at it, okay? Five minutes straight, you're gonna get tired. Keep moving. You don't need to stop, but if you need to slow down, we'll allow it. I will start my timer. We go in eight, all right? Three, two, one, and let's go ahead. All right, as many as we can, maybe pace yourself off the start. Five, and break, okay? One round. We have 10, we have nine left. Good, two, one, and go. Five. And break. 10 seconds, one minute down, two done, eight left. And go. I forgot how much I hated this in my mind before when I was making the plan. I was going to make it even harder. I'm kind of glad I didn't right now. Three done, seven to go. And we go. Keep breathing. All right, you're probably slowing down. That is okay. Break. That's it. Um, I think that's four. We have six left. Ready? Let's go. Whew. Come on. Let's keep moving. And break halfway, I believe. Yes. Home stretch. Ready. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep going. Break. Six done. Way to go. Good. 
Ready? Come on. This is number seven. Breathe. Keep moving. Break. Three left. That's it. Ready? And go. Come on. We're slowing down. We're okay. Keep moving. Two left. Last two. Ready? And go. Come on. Even if you're just getting a couple, we're still moving. Break. We got one left. Last 20 seconds of work. Come on. Ready? Go. Come on. Keep pushing. We're almost there. One more burpee. Come on. Break. Ready to go. Do a little walk. Nice and upright. Get some air into our lungs. Grab some water. All right. Let's make our way down onto our mat. Onto all fours. We're gonna stretch those inside of our legs here. Uh, those side lunges, they got me. I can feel those adductors in the leg. So we're gonna kick out the left foot, drop back down with our hips onto our right foot and our elbows, flexing that left foot as much as we can. Lean into it a little bit on the left side. Deep breathing. Let's bring that heart rate down. Excellent job. All right, come on up. We're gonna kick out that right leg. Come drop down into that same position. Flex that right foot. Come on up out of that. Onto all fours. Okay. Drop those hips down to our feet. Hands above our head, nice and high. Tent those fingertips. Push them into the ground. Let that head fall between our shoulders. Deep breathing. Big deep breath. Bring that heart rate down. Arch that back, let those hips fall to the floor, looking on up to our ceiling. Keep breathing. All right, up and on that. Thank you guys for joining me today for my last class of this academic year. Uh, Thank you guys for joining me all year. Um, I enjoy seeing you guys come in, 
the little messages I get from you guys. Um, I know it keeps Dwayne and I going. Um, we like our interaction just as much as I'm sure you guys do. Um, so it's, it's nice to be able to see faces sometimes. Um, so I'm really hoping come fall we can actually see you guys in person. All right. So take care. I will see you guys. I'm going to pop into probably some of the classes here throughout the rest of the week. So I will see you there. But if I don't, enjoy your summer and hopefully we chat with you soon. All right.